one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Martin. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago what? tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into the snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. That's me. <laughs> I always mess right. up every time I try to record. Well, hello, <laughs> friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this he year. He looks like that guy um, from a movie. First off, I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> hmm. Something seems off. Like... Oh no, come on. Him again? Gosh, this is creepy. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Well, you know what? Sam, you know what she should have done? She should have went after the sister and her best friend. I'm just throwing that out. Hello? Someone there? I'm not trying to hate on Sam, but I'm just throwing stuff out. Who's breathing? I hear him breathing. Maybe it's a her. <gasps> this is so cool. You can right stick to move the camera. It's best to climb over. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Well, she's mutual to everyone. 
romantic, less funny, less curious, less. Okay, so, well, since she's adventurous, give her adventure. Jump it. Can I run like oh my bad. Aw Aw Hey little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't move. <laughs> I hear my heart rate. <laughs> If you're unsure what to do next, you can see your current objective. Follow the lights? Um, I keep pressing that button. <laughs> cool. Whoa. Okay. Um... Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colors of the butterflies indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterflies. Dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies. Loss, brown. Guidance, yellow. Fortune, white. Sweet. Oh no, not, oh come on, not one of these. I'll pick that up. Guidance? Interesting. I was told never to look into people's bags, but you never know. Not Snoop, <laughs> just this once. Aha! Look who it is. Ashley. <laughs> oh shit! Chris has a crush on Ashley. Productive humorous, mythological. You scared me. I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? Uh, I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Ooh, somebody has a crush. Ooh. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. <laughs> Very humorous. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright. Here goes.
Did I get it? Sweet. So, girl, <laughs> well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, this is a squirrel. What the heck? I'm not going to shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. Ugh. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Butterfly effect update. It was a white butterfly, meaning it's possibly good luck. Wanted. Wanted poster. A torn up wanted poster box which is on the mountain dated. Wow. That's scary enough. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. That's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. What? That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. Real gentleman. Well, he seems like a good guy. I'm gonna go up in here. What's what this? a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Wow, but if you're able to buy a mountain, then you, you must be really rich then. What's that? What am I looking at? Car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Mm. How long is this gonna take? Okay. It's a big mountain. Yeah. No suspicion. It's so beautiful today, but the night just feels menacing. Like you can Go out here. Car. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Good. It's hard to tell with him. No, 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 it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. 
Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed, but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Dang, that is so true. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend? Hey! Trusting, interfering, confident. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> oh, shit! Hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please yep. let us out? Pretty you please? guys are gonna give me strokes over here or a heart attack. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um, give that back or explain. I'm with Mike now? Uh... Um, I guess just spill the beans. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. I'm starting to like Sam. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Mike's ex. Resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. Figures. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt. Hey. Motivated, ambitious actor. That's the guy that was recording in the closet. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Mm-hmm. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, sh oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, stupid freaking Mike, intelligent, driven, persuade. Oh god. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on, guys. Big oh, one, and a pervert. Right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. You know what? Back the heck off. I don't like you, Michael, Mike. Michael, you gotta step off. 
Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Absolutely. But, but, yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? <laughs> he almost sounds like the guy oh, from Twilight, crap. like Jacob. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. Why? All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. No. I wouldn't want to be alone. I don't want to go up there all by myself. Hmm. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. Exactly. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's yeah. gonna steal it. Matt, are yeah. you kidding me? You can't leave no. me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you yeah. want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Aww. I like him. I'm just trying to help out. I wouldn't want to go the forest by myself. It's dark. Why is she all getting all hyped up? Jeez, it made it like big argument than it was. Who's this? Oh, Ashley, Chris, Chris. Aw, they like each other. They don't even know it. What the heck was that? Oh, <gasps> hello. That Somebody's fucking bitch. Kind of friendly. Or not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh I my god. The date on their big breakup. I knew it. That bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. Scare you, sort of scare you. <gasps> real. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Hey, well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Dude. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Yeah! You want to check it out? Yeah, take a look. Um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes. Mm-hmm. I want you to see this, man. She's a che cheating Son girl. Bitch! Mm-hmm. Seriously, Emily? What the oh, hell, yeah. Man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, Jessica. Uh, check the phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but the surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Uh, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh ah. Hey! Oh, snap! Hey, 
Mike. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Oh, you got me. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Whoa! Wow. Oh. Right. One, just... And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh, yeah. No oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. No, I ain't gonna kiss ah! you, jerk. I don't like Mike. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Till later? We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. What you want? It's so nice out here, though. <laughs> pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that was fun. Oh, we're back in the room. Back in the room. Hello again. How are we feeling? Uh, okay, I guess. Well, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages, you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Well, they both look really mean. I see women. Uh, planes. Planes really scare me. Um, heights, I'm scared of heights. Drowning, drowning is really painful. Heights, um, I think heights. <laughs> Ooh, snakes, definitely. Knives. Snakes again. He's writing everything down. Oh gosh. I changed my mind. It's clowns. I hate clowns. It was the most scariest uh, movie ever. Crows? Um, not really. Gore. Ugh. Oh! Did I startle you? So sorry. Yeah, you I startled me, well. dude. Gosh. Like, well, you're kind of making me nervous. Like, if you do stuff like that, damn. I'm trying to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, I'll go the fastest I could. Uh... Mm -hmm. It's very intense. 
Trying to answer them. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. No, thank you. <laughs> Snakes, clowns, and awful. Some yeah, they freaking scare me. Sounds like a good Friday night. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay, guys, this is where I'm gonna leave you off till the next episode, probably tomorrow.